The march that occurred on Saturday, October 1st, left from Zuccotti Park at 3 p.m. The police force was there in numbers and they were guarding the sidewalks, making sure that no protesters spilled out into the streets. We marched from the plaza all the way up to City Hall. By the time we got to Brooklyn Bridge, there weren't any police officers by that point uh, directing us or telling us where to go. I saw a bunch of people hop over a barrier walking on the uh, ramp heading up towards the car path. People were generally walking on the pedestrian path, but there was one man who was standing uh, in the roadway and he wouldn't move and what I saw was the police reading him something. I couldn't tell what it was, but pretty soon after that, a large number of people started walking on the roadway on the bridge. difficult part, or I, I should say the, the, the indicating part, was when we saw the paddy wagon back up onto the bridge and back towards the walkers. There's a peaceful protest. People were chanting, but there was no violence, of course. I think there was about four or five hundred people in the middle of Brooklyn Bridge, and then they came from both sides with um, orange mesh, and they began kind of corralling them. Once they closed it off, they isolated media because there was media within the group to the side. And then from there, um, the police let a few people out, but then they stopped. And then from the left side, meaning from the Brooklyn side of the bridge, they started picking them, plucking them one by one. And to the extent that they tried to link arms, they would just forcibly remove them and wrestle them to the ground. Um, and it looked violent.
I saw a 13-year-old girl get arrested. The composition was the march was uh, a lot of families, a lot of uh, children, and I don't know why the cops would have arrested us and corralled us like that. It seemed to be pretty indiscriminate. I, I think they were just selecting people at random. Then they started processing people one by one, taking Polaroids of the, of the people, putting a, their name on a sticker on the back and then putting them into the paddy wagons. You know they took them to two precincts, one in Brooklyn and one in downtown here. Um, whether last time from our last experience, for, 90, for them to kind of book 90 people or process them, it took them close to a day. We suspect it will probably take just as much, if not another day. I just got back from the Middle East where there's a passion and there's a determination and you don't have the fear. People here are so attacked by, not attacked by fear, but seized with fear. And now, little by little, people are overcoming that fear of the state, fear of the cops to assert our rights and to fight back against the corruption that is uh, the state today. Freedom of assembly. 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 Now more and more, I've been seeing cops look the other way. I've been seeing some sympathize with us. I, I think they're starting to really understand our message and that we're working for them as well because they're part of us. They're part of the 99%. I feel so bad for you guys. I feel so fucking bad for you. Yes. I'm I'm just taking some video. Everybody else is texting. I'm actually not in the exit. You have to just keep walking, please. Just keep walking. You just keep walking, please. You need to clear off the bridge. You, you please keep walking. Why? I'm in a public space. 